This is Rugby Roundup coming up. Mosley take their unbeaten record to Isha, Worcester Warriors roll over London Welsh and Bees brace themselves for a difficult derby. Hello and welcome to Rugby Roundup. I'm Chrissy Savas and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studios by rugby correspondent Brian Dick. Hello Brian. Hi Christina. Well first up it's Mosley and it's four wins and one draw but you haven't seen a try in two and a half hours have you? No it's been some uh, some pretty turgid stuff uh, in, the, in the last uh, couple of games um, but more importantly you know Mosley haven't lost they they, uh, they they could have lost at Plymouth and didn't um, and, and then on, on Friday night against Rotherham they, they they were never actually in any danger of losing. To be fair, they were they were easily the better side. And uh, although they only had three um, three penalties to to show for what was a pretty decent performance, uh, you know, they they took the win and they've got a decent bit of momentum. You know, and they, it feels like there's a decent vibe down at Billsley Common at the moment. So, what are the factors behind them not scoring? Well, there's 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 several. I, I think what what's hurting them at the moment is uh, is, is is Brad is what's going on with Brad Davis. I mean, he's playing extremely well. This is no way in t- an intended criticism of Brad. His uh, his performance at Plymouth wasn't brilliant. His performance against Bees was very good, and then his performance in the last game against uh, against Rotherham was was pretty good as well. Um, but he, what, what's he what he's doing is he's carrying the ball a lot more. He's taking the ball into contact an awful lot, and and to my mind that means in in the next phase they've got their best just distributor and supposedly most uh, talented tactical brain uh, under a pile of bodies uh, which, which means you know that if they're not sc- not scoring off 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 that phase then you know, maybe they haven't got the wherewithal to, to get to get through uh, in subsequent phases um, again they just also composure is an issue as well they had a couple of, they had a couple of chances um, in, in the first 10 minutes against Rotherham that they didn't take they just We've said, we've said it before, they just need to carry on doing what, what got them into the to do. They need to carry on doing that. It doesn't need a miracle pass or a superb offload. Just need to show that patience. And you know, I, I think they are learning that, but you know, they, they, need, they need to learn it a little bit quicker. Well, they'll be hoping to take that unbeaten record to Isha. Well, now let's hear from new signing David Bishop on that match. Yeah, I know it's, it's a big game because you know, if we keep this you know, winning run on the, you know, keep it going. I was going to be in a good mindset going into the, um, the playoffs, and I think you know it's a must-win game. We got to go down there, and I think you know, hopefully if I play, I'll try and you know lead from the front line in defence and get out of defence. If we have a good defence, and you know we're looking good in attack, so yeah. I think if we can get out of defence, good, and, and we'll give them a good go. But it counts if you would speak, which you're obviously going to have to play them again in the playoffs twice. Would it? Would it? Too, I, think, I think we, we're in the playoffs where yeah. whatever happens there. So yeah, as they are. I, yeah, if we go down there and beat them, you know, when we play them, and so we're down to the edge, if we beat, you know, yeah. we beat them at home, so, yeah, obviously it's a big game, and, you know, for all the mental side of things. That was David Bishop, and he clearly sees it as a big game psychologically. What are your thoughts, Brian? Well, he does, and I, I think he's right too. I think there are points to be scored mentally um, down, down, down there on Saturday, um, but... I think it, there's also something tangible to come out of this game as well. If, if Isha win, that gives them two extra wins going carrying over into the playoffs, which will be worth two points. Uh, now that effectively means Mosley will have to do the double over Isha when, when the sides when the sides meet in the playoffs. However, if Mosley win, they're effect, they're, they'll, they'll be level they'll be level on points carrying over, and you know that really shapes what what both sides need to do when when they face when they face each other. Um, it's also a big game for Bees as well because if if he should do win, then that puts them three wins ahead of Bees, which is effectively, you know, it's effectively a whole game swing virtually. Um, so, you know, the, the, there are there's certain negotiations to be had even at this late stage. Okay, well, now let's move on to Worcester, and they beat London Welsh. Was it a good performance? It was for um, 50 or 60 minutes. Yeah, it was. Uh, they, they they really. Do appear to be hitting their straps. They, the, in the last last two or three games, uh, we've we've seen the side that uh, that we maybe expected, hoped, maybe wrongly to to see at the start of the season. They are looking like a pretty well well oiled uh, unit at the moment. However, we'll hear from Tom Marscott in a minute. He'll 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 concede that that uh, that. That they're only playing for an hour or playing for 50 minutes. That that is still the case, and we spoke about it last week. That they're, they're not killing teams off. Um, London Welsh came back and scored four tries in the last quarter of this match. Uh, now, okay, yeah, the, the game was over, but had the game been longer, going, going off for five minutes longer, then it, it might not have been over. London Welsh could have got a couple of bonus points out of this game. So it, it's a worrying tendency f- for Richard Hill, and you you can't look any further than the fact. He's, he's, he's 
using all his bench. The, 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 the change in momentum seems to happen when the substitutes come on. Um, now, it, again, it would be wrong to point the finger at, at, at the halfbacks, Joey Carlisle and Ollie Frost. Um, but in the last couple of games, when, when Andy Goode and Johnny R have gone off, suddenly the, the, the other team in it are in it. Is that a coincidence? Maybe it is a coincidence. Is it a question that needs looking at? Yeah, definitely it is, yeah. Okay, well, now let's hear from Tom Scott. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if we switched off a little bit when we'd almost had the game won. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, played very well for the first 40. Uh, came out after half time, and the, the very start of the second half wasn't too bad. Got up in their half, and then I think there's a turnover, which was kind of the turning point there. And then they got on the front foot, started running everything, throwing the ball around, and we didn't deal with it particularly well. But I think being 32 3 up at half time, maybe mentally we weren't quite on it, so it's something for us to work on. Mm. Does it? It's, it's very unsettling when sides start just coming at you from, from nowhere, isn't it, really? I mean, do you think that's something you're going to have to master in, um, in the next few weeks? I think we just need to start playing for the full 80. Um, right. The last couple of weeks, well, not down at Pirates, but up at, um, at Nottingham, Nottingham we, we got a good score up and then started letting them back in in the last 20. It's the same story today, so hopefully uh, hopefully we'll work on that over the next few weeks and then come playoffs we'll be playing for 80 rather than 40 or 60. Mm. Well, our Scott and Worcester go to Damson Park on Saturday. Big match before the playoffs. How do you see that match going? Well, one way, I suppose, is, is the logical answer to that. Worcester are top, B's are bottom, 76 points between the two. Um, it's it's difficult to, to envisage a home win. However, you know we, we've said about B's all season that they... they they are a good side when they when they play well. Um, Worcester will be making a lot of changes. Um, that some guys who haven't played a lot of rugby will be coming into their side, and and bees can can maybe take advantage on that, depending on that, what they do with with their own selection, because they're a pretty tired bunch. You know, they they they, they took 50 points at, at Bedford last Friday. Um, they the pretty much the same guys then went to Landovery and lost to a last play on on Monday night. Um, so, you know, as you said in your sting, they are weary and uh, possibly when you're tired, the league leaders um, with fresh bodies isn't the ideal fixture. Okay, thanks, Brian. And thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with an analysis of all those matches. Bye for now.